TV. M. Rack. Y'all wanna stunt and floss on Front Street? The Hulk will tear through your gut, spill out your lunch meat. Yeah. You the main bitch, they booking for drugs. Niggas starving out here, and you looking like grub. My thing is not to discredit Molly Mall. Mm -hmm. My thing is to inform people that I was there too, and this is what I did. Mm. See gotcha. what I'm saying? Because I didn't mm -hmm. do it all. Mm -hmm. We all played a part. Gotcha. So I look at it from the truest point of it. Like, I didn't do it for the money, so I'm not trying to run up on people for back money. What mm. I'm trying to say is, if it's money due to me, get it to me. That's what it is. You know, they had a um, DVD out about the original 50 Cent, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, he on the back of your album, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't come, you know, would they, did they reach out to you for that or whatever? Because, you know, that was it. That was your era, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you was on the back of the cover with the wolves, man. That, that, Fort that, was, my dope. that was my dope. Yeah, nah, they, they didn't they didn't holler at me uh, for that, the original 50 Cent joint. Mm -hmm. I was a little upset with, you know, whoever made it, man. Because um, 50 ain't never robbed me, man. You know what I mean? That's what so, they, you know, yeah, that's what I was about yeah, to say. Really yeah, you clear that up. Ridiculous, you know what I mean? Right. So, you know what I mean? That's the only thing I was mad about, you know, the whole joint. But, you know, 50 was my dude. And uh, he, he needed he needed to be, um, you know, put up on that platform, man, so people can see, you know, who he was and what he stood for, man. But, um, yeah, man, big up, big up to him and his family. For sure. But, um, never robbed me. Right. My dude. Yo, so, um, how you feel about the state of the rap game right now, man? Where's that, man? You know, so it's all the way down south. They dancing, you know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't, you ain't, you know, been that type of cat, but you always sold, you sold, you always sold mad units, like, without crazy radio play, you know what I'm saying? How I started Gangsta Chronicles. I started Gangsta Chronicles about, man, uh, 2006, 2007. Me and my man Bink B from D from uh, from New Haven, DJ Bink B. We was uh, doing Flavor Link DVD together, and uh, Flavor Flavor Link DVD was like um, a si like like the regular Smack and the Cocaine City and all of that. You know what I mean? So um, we had so many different artists as we was doing. But that was some good bread, but it was short bread, and we was doing the mixtapes and anything like that. So we was on the highway going to the city one day, and um, I said, yo, son, uh, 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 I got an idea. We're going to make some money off him. And he was like, yo, what is it? I said, yo, man, I want to start this joint, man, start making documentaries. I want to get in the film game, because I was a writer. I was writing already, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, what you want to do? So we had made a mixtape called Crime Partners, and we had the original Rick Ross on there. But he was, we snatched the interview from somewhere, and we put it on there, and they, the streets ate it up crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, uh, Crime Stories, that was the name of the mixtape. And I couldn't use Crime Stories because Crime Stories was already, uh, um, already trademarked, you know what I mean? And I said, you know what? I did another one. It was called Gangster Chronicles. And I told him that, and he just looked at me. He was like, yo, let's do it. I was like, yo, we're gonna get busy. So what happened was, um, I started looking for artists, man. I, not artists, I started looking for subjects that, that, that week. And I came across Chaz Williams first. You know what I'm saying? And that's Chaz from Black Hand, anybody know Slim? Good brother. I hollered at him, and he was the first, he was the first one, but we didn't do him first. Then, because I was going so fast, I bumped into Klein, and Klein had just came home not too long after that. So, a brother, a good brother by the name of Love from Marcy Projects, linked me in with, with Klein, and we got busy. And that's how Gangster Chronicles birthed. And the first documentary came out was was Calvin Klein. The second one was Chaz, called the Ski Mask Way, I think. Chaz Williams about him robbing the banks and all that. And then, you know, BET had put it out afterwards, you know what I'm saying? But um, we talked to Chaz first, and then we got to Climb, and we started rolling with Climb first. You dig what I'm saying? But uh, that's
that's how it really birthed, man. You know, shout out to Troy Reed. I seen Troy Reed doing his thing, man. And I was like, yo, I could do that. You know what I mean? Um, all my stuff was on paper because I was really writing. So I think one of the first um, one of the first joints I wrote was uh, members of it's called MOB, members of Blood, and it was based in the '90s in California and LA. It was crazy. Uh, probably probably won't get done, but that's where I was just getting my pen game right. It probably won't never get produced, but I got that in the vault. I did that in 2000. <clears throat> I started that in 2006. Um, the second one I did was called, uh, what was that, um, Black Mafia, Black Brothers Inc. And that was about the Black Mafia uh, in Philly. And uh, that's a true story. You know, I even met some of the brothers. I paid Bayard to come through. To, to, uh, I, came, I paid Bayard to come to Philadelphia because I think he was living in Detroit. He had to fly in. He's original, he was like the head, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout to him, uh, plus they was my brothers, they Muslim, you know what I'm saying? So it was a little easier, you know what I'm saying? Shout to my man Bilal, that's, my, that's an old head from Philly, man. You know, if you ever been to Halal Bilal, man, you know that's, you know, that's who it was in Philly. But um, them cats, <clears throat> I was trying to do a documentary then and chase it with the, with the movie. So I was trying to get a deal with making a, making a documentary film, then making the film itself, but you know, long story short, the birth of document, birth of Gangster Chronicles, with the first documentary came out, was Calvin Klein and Brooklyn Dawn, and that's and we got popping after that, and it never stopped. Me, Troy, we came out with Troy Reed in the in the, in the Dawn Diva, and we came second. Yeah, Alpo had more celebrity behind his name than Klein did. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there, cause we still did mad numbers. And I know they remember, because we had the same distributor. I was working with Big Apple. And anybody know about that? That was up in the Bronx. Like I said, shout out to Troy Reed. He sparked something in me to become a filmmaker. And I still say, like, I'm a junior filmmaker because, you know, I'm still grinding, man. I ain't get to where I really want to be at. And, you know what I mean? But uh, as far as the Gangster Chronicles coming in, that's, what, that's, what, that's, that's the beginning of it. You know what I mean? Me and my man DJ Bink B, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at the situation like Cool V is, and not to put you in the same boat as nobody, but yeah. a lot of those dudes from Death Row, like Daz and the homie, I forgot his name. I, I you know I could look it up in a minute, but a lot of dudes wasn't getting their credit, and the credit was going to Dr. Dre. So I'm looking at it like it's almost the same thing with Marley Mark. Almost, almost. Okay. Uh, and I can't speak on their yeah, situation yeah, yeah. because I don't know the ins and outs of it, mm -hmm. but I hear it. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is not to discredit Molly Maul. Mm -hmm. My thing is to inform people that I was there too and this is what I did. Mm -hmm. See gotcha. what I'm saying? Because I didn't mm -hmm. do it all. Mm -hmm. We all played a part. Gotcha. So I look at it from the truest point of it. Like, I didn't do it for the money, so I'm not trying to run up on people for back money. What mm. I'm trying to say is, if it's money due to me, get it to me. M. Rack. Y'all want to stunt and floss on Front Street? The whole a tear through your gut, spill out your lunch meat. Yeah. You the main bitch, they booking for drugs. Niggas starving out here, and you looking like grub. It's crummy, Peace world to promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV. Contact MREC TV promo M R E C K TV promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. Wreck TV. It's got a music. Got a music. M Wreck. Y'all wanna stunt and floss on Front Street? The whole a tear through your gut, spill out your lunch meat. Yeah. You the main victim, they booking for drugs. Niggas starving out here, and you looking like grub.
It's crummy beats, y'all. Peace, world. To promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo, M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. Wreck TV. It's got a music.